We're uh, today at Got the Plague from Ottawa, Ontario, and uh, we're a progressive metal band. That's pretty much it. Yeah, if that sums it. That's pretty much it. Okay. We came together in 2005. We were uh, we were trying to put together a new group from uh, a group that had previously disbanded. Myself and my drummer. And then across two years, I guess, we went through a whole bunch of different members um, and uh, eventually came to the group that we have today in about uh, 2008, which is when we released our first EP. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're just all friends of friends, kind of like yeah. bands that knew each other, we some all, fell uh, apart. We and... all grew up in the same suburb of Canada, and so we uh, yeah, just all kind of assembled ourselves. It took a bunch of years, but eventually we found the right lineup and released our CD and no member changes since then. It feels good, obviously. I mean, uh, it's a lot of work to get over there. Like, yeah. there's just so much red tape. Yeah. But um, I think the moment we actually cross over the border, yeah. we're just going to be on cloud nine. Yeah. You know? It's really kind of like surreal at this point because um, we have done our, paid our dues, as in, you know, we have made not a lot of money in playing in small venues and lions halls and community centers and played in a Viking bar where they show like people. Being getting executed, being executed on the screen while screen. we're playing and stuff like that. Um, not our favorite. Not our favorite. But now when we look at the venues and we're on a you know a, a tour that has established bands and you look at it and you look up the venues, like let's say the Key Club in Los Angeles on Sunset Boulevard, just that statement alone is I haven't even wrapped my mind around <laughs> the fact that I'm going to be playing on one of the most famous streets in North America, let alone the world, kind of thing. So. We do have a lot of gratitude towards ourselves for actually making it this far and sticking to it. We're really yeah. happy with the way things are going. Yeah, we got some stuff in the works right now, we're trying to iron out the details, I guess. And we're, we're sort of starting to think about what we're going to do for the next album For the next cycle, album, so. concept-wise, yeah. we've got some ideas, and uh, we've all, we, we never stop writing. Like, on the road, we are constantly just forking out ideas and kind of letting our brains do, you know, what they do naturally. That's how Lore came across. It was never forced. It was never, it was, you know, we wanted to take a certain step in a direction. And I think uh, we really tried to work on the structures of our songs. We yeah. did get rid of screaming. Uh, yeah, that was just, just kind of kind of like a natural progression yeah. for us. I mean, our music, our musical tastes go up and down and with whatever. So we just really, we don't want to, you know, limit ourselves, but we do want to stay focused and do another record that is as good as the one we just released. Hopefully better. Hopefully better. Yeah. Yeah. Could always hope for that. <laughs>